Hello, everybody. This is Rick Geiler with Silverside Insurance Marketing, and I have with me today Tony Fiorillo with Asset Management Strategies in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at a powerful planning model and a software-assisted planning model that we are using to develop a comprehensive strategy for clients, including income, taxes, longevity, a number of things. Uh, and Tony's really the expert on this, and he's going to give us a, a brief overview of some of the things it does, and then uh, we'll wrap it up, and anybody interested, we can get with one-on-one -on, -one on, on the details on how we can apply it to some of their clients. So, uh, Tony, are you with me here? I am. Thanks for having me, Rick. Hey, thanks for being here. So, if we're ready to go, I'll get the presentation over to you. And uh, we can take a look at this. Sounds good. Yeah, I wanted to talk about um, what I consider, you know, one of the most revolutionary planning tools that uh, I've seen in many years, maybe in all 40 years that I've been doing this business. Um, I started out in, on the tax side of the business, so I have a very strong tax background and have been doing uh, investments and financial planning exclusively for the last 25 years. But because of that tax background, I always recognized that there was something missing in a lot of these social security analysis tools. And that analysis looked at what is what analysis is going to get you the biggest social security check and at what age does that cross over to where you have to live so long to break even. Uh, that was a, I recognized that it was a very superficial uh, evaluation because it didn't take into consideration what your other assets or other taxable income might be. Uh, so if it's not taking into account, if it's not taking into account all of the other taxable in income that you might have that you're adding that Social Security on top of, then it's not uh, factoring in the potential 85% of that Social Security that's taxable. The, um, you know, now we have the reduction of your Medicare supplement if you get to a certain tax level. And this software, I think, is, uh, is a remarkable combination of actually three different things. It's a combination of, of a Social Security analysis tool, which there are many of them out there. But this one also incorporates it with a tax package and also with a uh, retirement planning package. And I would go so far as to say that I don't think anybody should make a Social Security election or take one dime out of a retirement plan until they've seen this uh, software illustrated. This planning tool is quite remarkable in the sense that it looks at the sequence of where you take this money out. And I can tell you from having sat on uh, you know, the side of the desk where I was preparing people's tax returns, uh, this is a question that, that tax people get very often, financial industry people get very often, and I have to confess that uh, I was probably answering that question incorrectly for many, many of my clients. It just seemed counterintuitive to me that you would voluntarily pay tax earlier in the scenario than you had, absolutely had to. I, it was always drummed in my head that you take advantage of that tax deferral for as long as you possibly can. But when you look at the actual math, uh, don't be surprised if the answer comes up completely differently. And I was quite shocked, and that's why I say that I think this uh, software is very revolutionary. Uh, the software is called Income Solver, and you can go out and um, and buy a subscription from Income Solver. I think it's something like, I want to say, $1,500 a year. But the other problem with um, concern with that is it's not just paying the $1,500 a year. It's taking the couple weeks or a couple months to really work through this software to be able to get it uh, to illustrate properly. And that learning curve is taking quite some time. The other thing that, uh, that you don't have with this is uh, this software will allow us to put our investment strategy into the software as well. Uh, the way I use, I like to run these illustrations is I like to keep our variable completely out of the picture uh, for the first run. So I like to show them how we can increase, you know, their income or the the uh, portfolio that they end up leaving at the end of the day by over 20% just by getting the sequence of where they take the money out. 
you know, if they take it out of a qualified account, if they take a Social Security election early, if they take it out of a, uh, you know, after-tax account, out of their savings prior to uh, taking it out of, the, of an IRA, or if they do a Roth conversion from that IRA. All of those could happen along the way in any given time. And you need to you need to be looking at all of those buckets together to come up with the right answer. And it's just it's just too hard to do this with variable different softwares. It's uh, you know very similar to juggling cats. I think trying to get all these pieces put together without some kind of software to do this. So what this will do ultimately is we can run this and say, okay, here's where your money is invested now, and here's the the average returns on the investments that you have now. So the first conversation has nothing to do with where the money's invested. It's just doing a comparison to say, if you take money out of this um, bucket as opposed to that bucket or that bucket, here's what the outcome is going to be. Then once we've got their attention without any uh, management variable, then we can rerun it with our management experience in there. We have a 14 year track record on our equity model that we can run with the software that will show them exactly how much in real dollars that would represent at the end of the day by making a change in their investment strategy. But I don't like to illustrate that to begin with because I think the, the client's mind immediately goes to that bias and they start looking for ways to pick the thing apart because you're trying to justify uh, your management style. And I think the, the purest way to do it is to first and foremost show it without your management variable uh, in there so that there's no argument. It's just pure taxes. You can go in and manipulate the, the future tax brackets uh, if you want to you know, adjust those um, that permutation and combination of all of those potential different variables, but you can do that, uh, you know, infinitely. Uh, if you look at, at where this is and what the the rules that are dealt with to us right now with the current tax situation, uh, this is what it's going to look like. So I don't want to get into a lot of the minutia of, of, of what goes into this, but I wanted to give you just an illustration of how this comparison looks. Uh, this particular uh, situation is an individual who is 63 years old, and we're illustrating this out till age 95. And we, you know, it'll also calculate in whether he's purchasing Medicare or not. If we look at the different strategies, then it comes up with an optimal strategy that it always calls your top system strategy. And if we look at that, the analysis uh, between this comparison uh, is what I think is really remarkable about this software. And we'll just compare this to uh, conventional wisdom with Social Security early, and it will show the, the crossover. Now, in this case, uh, this guy has uh, $600,000, and with the income that he's pulling out, this illustration shows that with the conventional wisdom with the early Social Security that he runs out of money at about age 85. With uh, the optimal scenario, you have lower value in, in your account value as you go along, but once that crossover happens at about age 81, then the money lasts about three years longer. So this is not a pretty picture. Uh, this is, you know, a difficult planning situation because you've got somebody who is not going to make it to their goal of 95 years old. And then we have to look at, uh, at what variables that we need to, to adjust this, one of which could be the investment management. But as things are, this guy's going to run out of money at 81 and, and 80, uh, I'm sorry, at 85 and at uh, 80 seven in this scenario. But the difference is in, in the total income that he receives from his portfolio of 600000 and from his Social Security is at the end of the day, it's the difference between uh, $2.7 million and $2.4 million. So on a $600,000 portfolio, the difference between taking the sequence correctly or not correctly could be as much as $300,000, which is 50% of his investable asset value. This shows the, the tax picture here where under the top strategy, they recommend Roth conversions uh, up through age uh, 70, 71, so that you get that Roth uh, 
uh, you get that IRA income taxed early in the scenario, and then you can see how you avoid these minimum required distributions to take money out of that IRA account and the higher taxes that they're going to pay. So this visually lets people see that it's pretty simple. You either pay a little bit now or you pay a lot later. And the other thing I think that is useful with this is that even though uh, this guy runs out of money, uh, in this scenario he runs out as an optimal scenario, he runs out at age 87 uh, with an with the non-optimized process, the last year he has the full income is at age 84. But beyond that, when his investment balance goes to zero, if you look at this comparison, because he delayed Social Security income, his Social Security in this column, his Social Security income now is at 67000 which is all he has to live on at that point, compared to over here at 44000 That's a That's a, a major difference. In, uh, in income. Uh, this is after they've completely depleted all of their savings and they're doing nothing but living on Social Security. So I think that the, the visual here is, uh, you know, the difference in, in Social Security income that he receives over this period of time, if he leaves, lives to be 95, is another half million dollars. The tax ramification is uh, about two-thirds of what he would pay with early Social Security. So that's part of the savings is we've saved, you know, $55,000 in income tax. Part of it is we've, uh, we've gotten another 400000 in, in almost in uh, Social Security benefits. Of course, those are delayed, so you have to look at the, at the time value of money, which is what this does. So this comparison shows if the guy says, you know, both my parents died at age 76, so where would I be at age 76? And maybe you don't do the difference between the optimal plan and the, and the worst case scenario, which is the early Social Security analysis. Maybe you just make some elections so that this line is a little bit smoother, so there's not such a gap at any given time. But uh, what we've seen is that once you have this crossover, that gap starts to get pretty ridiculous. Some of the other illustrations that we have with people that have more than enough money to fuel their retirement incomes, uh, these numbers are, are not spiraling into the dust here. They're continuing up here at the other end. So, you know, I, I didn't want to get too much into the software, but I just think that, that the importance of this is, is really critical. Uh, and I will say this again. I don't think that anybody should make a Social Security election or take a dollar out of a retirement plan until they have seen this software run. This planning tool is so powerful because it shows you exactly what the sequence is. Even if you don't make the election to do the optimal plan, which may go against your human nature to say, I'm going to voluntarily pay some income tax and do a Roth conversion earlier in the scenario than I anticipated, it's our job to show these people the math. And if we're not showing them the math, we're not doing our job. Now, if we run this, we've got it in our file, we've showed it to people, we don't ever have to worry about some heir coming back and saying, well, why did you give this advice to my father or grandfather and uh, it cost him, you know, what could be hundreds of thousands of dollars. The other thing that I think is meaningful in this software is that this is a level of conversation that most people are not having with their client. And I think from a marketing standpoint, we could look at this software as a standalone marketing piece. We could use it in webinars. We could use it in seminars. Uh, I know a lot of people are out doing uh, Social Security seminars, and I think that that evaluation is, is woefully deficient if you're not taking into account all of the other taxable income and all of the other assets, whether they're qualified or non-qualified, uh, to come up with the, the, um, the right analysis. So... You know, and I, I know that a lot of people that are doing Social Security seminars have seen, you know, a significant drop off in the turnout and the quality of the turnout. So I think this again could be a, a way to to attract people to something that they're not seeing with all of the other Social Security analysis uh, programs. The other thing I think uh, you could use this for as a marketing piece is uh, to introduce this concept to CPAs and tax professionals because they're getting this question and they don't know how to answer the question. Uh, the clients are coming to them saying, you know, I'm getting ready to retire next year. What's it going to do to my taxes if I do this or if I do that? They don't know how to answer this question. 
And I think just going into, uh, you know, starting a conversation with a CPA or a tax professional and say, let me run an illustration for one of your clients. Uh, let's talk about that. It has nothing to do with product. It's providing a value-added service to that CPA that uh, is going to solve a big problem that he has. Uh, the other thing I think that, that would be worthwhile from a marketing standpoint is open up your filing cabinet, take out every one of those clients that you've already got uh, some business with, and revisit them and say, I'd like to run this software, which would uncover who knows what kind of new assets that might already be in your filing cabinets. And just starting this conversation and looking at the analysis of all of that, uh, I think can uncover uh, new assets and, and new streams of potential revenue. So w this software is a little bit more involved. It does take a little bit of, uh, you know, fact finding to get the information correct. And I prefer not to run this and run a report and email it to people because I know as soon as they look at this, because it's very visual, they're going to want to start tweaking it and they're going to want to start changing this and doing what if scenarios. And the software is really, really good at doing that on the fly and demonstrating that. So we're willing to run this software for agents of Silverside for no cost and we'll help support these. Uh, illustrations, but because they are a little bit more involved, uh, I think uh, we do want to limit this to just uh, just agents who are doing business with us uh, with uh, asset management strategies or at least with Silverside already. So um, happy to have a longer conversation with somebody, go through a, a much more detailed uh, you know, illustration of what the software would look like. But I think this gives you an idea of how powerful this is and how important this conversation is with your clients, you know, not just from doing the right thing and getting the right answer, but from a marketing standpoint, I think this is, um, it's extremely useful. One of the most uh, important things I've seen in years. So, so that's, um, you know, I, I'm not uh, a, a paid uh, salesperson for this software, uh, and there's nothing to stop you from contacting them directly, uh, buying the software, learning how to use it. Um, but we do have the software. We can run it, and it's already got our uh, investment performance information in it, which is nothing that I'm showing you here. That's a whole nother level mm -hmm. that would then say, you know, like for this situation, if we, if we went back and we looked at uh, – there is a um, category here where we look at uh, what they call advisor alpha. If we go in and say, okay, here's where your money is now, but here's what would happen if we managed your money, then the investor, the advisor alpha would show exactly what dollars that those would increase to. But I like to run it like this first just to show, you know, what the um, – what the true math breakdown is with the taxes and minimum required distributions and different levels of social security elections and that sort of thing all rolled into one. And we don't want to confuse that conversation by adding that variable of what if we manage the money? You know, once we get their, their confidence that, that the software is, is crunching the numbers correctly, then we can do the next step, which is run that advisor alpha to show what it would mean if we actually manage the money. Mm -hmm. The other thing, um, you know, that, that is, it, is capable with this software too, is that, uh, we can build in annuities and we can build in life insurance, you know, to show what the tax, um, you know, ramifications would be of, uh, taking income. If they have a guaranteed income, um, you know, rider, we can build that into the scenarios as well and do a comparison in, um, you know, side by side to see when might be the best time to trigger that income, that sort of thing. So, you know, it's, it's very involved, it, 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 but I do think that it presents very well. If I ran printed reports, I could run 200 pages, you know, to show people the different, uh, different ways to do this. I think it's very useful visually. And for that reason, I would recommend that, uh, that we present it, you know, online, you know, through a, um, uh, a collaboration on the computer, because as soon as they see it, they're going to want to tweak it and look at it and, and change it and, and adjust it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for that overview. And, uh, yeah, like, like we say, uh, 
this was basically a sequencing overview. Uh, we can get into the details on how the money is managed, what vehicles are used, and, and whatever else for everybody's particular situation. Uh, but let's go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for that, Tony. Uh, everybody, please go ahead and give us a buzz over here at Silverside if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to talk to Tony one-on-one -on -one about maybe a particular client or a little more detail on what you've seen today. Uh, numbers on the screen there. Uh, thanks so much for that presentation, Tony, and thanks everybody for being with us here. My pleasure. Thanks, Rick.